Why did Robert S. Mulliken, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his fundamental work concerning chemical bonds and the electronic structure of molecules by the molecular orbital method. Mulliken received the Nobel Prize in recognition of his work studying that nature of how electrons behaving in molecules. In particular for the molecular orbital approach that he developed. Molecular orbitals are formed by the overlap of the orbitals on individual atoms. And these can be used to rationalize whether bonds will exist between pairs of atoms. How strongly the pairs will be bonded, and what type of reactivity the molecule may be expected to undergo. Why did Robert S. Mulliken, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his fundamental work concerning chemical bonds and the electronic structure of molecules by the molecular orbital method. Mulliken received the Nobel Prize in recognition of his work studying that nature of how electrons behaving in molecules. In particular for the molecular orbital approach that he developed. Molecular orbitals are formed by the overlap of the orbitals on individual atoms. And these can be used to rationalize whether bonds will exist between pairs of atoms. How strongly the pairs will be bonded, and what type of reactivity the molecule may be expected to undergo. Why did Manfred Eigen, Federal Republic of Germany, Ronald George Rayford Norrish, United Kingdom, and George Porter, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their studies of extremely fast chemical reactions. Effected by disturbing the equilibrium by means of very short pulses of energy. Norrish and Porter were credited with the prize for their development of flash photolysis methods. Which applied short pulses of light to initiate photochemical reactions. Allowing them to study very fast chemical reactions that could not previously be observed. Eigen's work differed in that he used sound as his form of energy to probe the chemical reactions. Which is far less invasive of an approach in the sense that sound does not cause drastic changes in the behavior of the molecules being studied. Of the two methods, the flash photolysis method is much more akin to the modern spectroscopic approaches used today. While sound based approaches did not gain as much traction. Why did Manfred Eigen, Federal Republic of Germany, Ronald George Rayford Norrish, United Kingdom, and George Porter, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their studies of extremely fast chemical reactions. Effected by disturbing the equilibrium by means of very short pulses of energy. 
Norrish and Porter were credited with the prize for their development of flash photolysis methods, which applied short pulses of light to initiate photochemical reactions, allowing them to study very fast chemical reactions that could not previously be observed. Eigen's work differed in that he used sound as his form of energy to probe the chemical reactions. Which is far less invasive of an approach in the sense that sound does not cause drastic changes in the behavior of the molecules being studied. Of the two methods, the flash photolysis method is much more akin to the modern spectroscopic approaches used today. While sound based approaches did not gain as much traction. Why did Frederick Sanger, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on the structure of proteins, especially that of insulin. Sanger established the structure of insulin by first recognizing that it was made up of two chains of amino acids, one 31 and the other 20 residues long. He proceeded to establish the sequence of amino acids. All 51, in the two chains, thus determining the chemical composition of insulin. Insulin is a key peptide hormone that regulates glucose levels in the human body. In addition to characterizing the structure of this important hormone, Sanger in fact did much more. The methodology he applied to characterizing its structure went on to be used by numerous other scientists in many many other situations to characterize protein structures. What is an unsaturated compound? A molecule with at least one pi bond or ring structure. Why did Petrus, Peter, Josephus Wilhelmus de Bay, the Netherlands, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For analyzing molecular structure through his investigations on dipole moments and the diffraction of X-rays and electrons in gases. Debye developed the theory of how electric fields affect molecules, and figured out a method to determine their dipole moments by measuring how their insulating properties and density vary with temperature. He also measured interferences of X-rays and electrons with molecules in the gas phase. Along with other investigations into molecular structure, to determine the chemical structures of molecules. This work provided some of the first detailed structural characterization that allowed chemists to definitively determine the different structures of isomers. Compounds of the same chemical composition but different geometrical arrangements of the atoms. What is an unimolecular reaction? A reaction that takes place involving only a single reactant molecule. There can be one or more product molecules formed.
Why did Sir Cyril Norman Hinchelwood, United Kingdom, and Nikolai Nikolaevich Semyonov, USSR, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their researches into the mechanism of chemical reactions. These men made numerous important discoveries regarding chemical reaction mechanisms. In particular with regard to proposing and demonstrating the importance of chain reaction mechanisms. In various instances. These two men showed that observations could be explained by invoking a chain reaction mechanism. Which is a mechanism that self-propagates for several cycles before terminating. Among other examples, chain mechanisms were shown to be key to chemical reactions resulting in explosions. Why did Max Ferdinand Peretz and John Cowdery Kendrew? Both United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their studies of the structures of globular proteins. Peretz and Kendrew sought to elucidate the structures of large proteins using X-ray diffraction techniques. With a particular focus on hemoglobin and myoglobin. They took a variety of innovative approaches, including recording a huge number of X ray diffractions. About a quarter million, incorporating heavier gold or mercury. Atoms at well defined locations into the molecule, and using a computer. One that was advanced for the time, to process the large amounts of data they collected. This was quite a challenging task, as even myoglobin, the smaller molecule of the pair, contains roughly 2,600 atoms. Their work was the first to help understand the principles behind the structure of globular proteins. Why did Dorothy Crowfoot Hodgkin, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For her determinations by X-ray techniques of the structures of important biochemical substances. Hodgkin used X-ray crystallography to determine the structure of penicillin vitamin B12, and a large number of other biologically relevant molecules. As the importance of computers for processing X-ray crystallographic data was increasingly being recognized. Hodgkin was noted for her exceptional ability to process the data. And the Nobel Committee recognized that this talent likely played a vital role in her ability to achieve so much during her career. What is a valence shell? The highest partially occupied shell of electrons in an atom. What is a valence electron? An electron in the valence shell of an atom. Why did Adolf Otto Reinhold Windaus, 
Germany, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. For his research into the constitution of the sterols and their connection with the vitamins. Vindaus was awarded the Nobel Prize for discovering that cholesterol, a sterol, was removed to colocalciferol, vitamin D3, through a series of several steps. One of Vindaus' doctoral students, Adolf Boutinant, was himself a Nobel laureate. Why did Hans Fischer, Germany, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his researches into the constitution of hemin and chlorophyll and especially for his synthesis of hemin. Fischer was interested in biologically relevant pigments. Specifically those in human bodily fluids like blood and bile, and the green color of plants. He was the first to determine the correct structure for heme B and heme S. Which are iron porphyrin molecules, a large ring with four nitrogen ligands coordinated to an iron center. These red colored molecules help transport O2, and other important functions. He also determined the structure of chlorophyll A, which has a structure similar to that of a heme. But instead of an iron, a magnesium ion sits in the middle of the large porphyrin ring. What is a triple point? The combination of temperature and pressure values at which solid, liquid, and gas phases of a substance are in equilibrium. Why did Karl Bosch, Germany, and Friedrich Bergius, Germany, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their contributions to the invention and development of chemical high-pressure methods. Bosch worked with Fritz Haber on the synthesis of ammonia that today bears both their names. But was not recognized in the 1918 prize with Haber. Bergios developed a process for producing liquid hydrocarbon fuel from coal. Bosch also worked on the so-called Bergios process. After Bergios sold his patents to BASF, where Bosch was working at the time. The Bergios process and the Haber-Bosch process both operate at high pressures. And both methods had significant impacts on human history. Why did Lord, Alexander R. Todd, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on nucleotides and nucleotide coenzymes. Todd laid the foundation for future research in biochemistry, genetics and biology surrounding the structures and roles of nucleotides in living organisms. He established the chemical structures of nucleotides and established the, extremely important, role of phosphorylation in biochemical processes.
Why did Karl Ziegler, Federal Republic of Germany, and Giulio Natta, Italy, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their discoveries in the field of the chemistry and technology of high polymers. These two great polymer scientists developed several classes of polymers. While simplifying and clarifying the mechanisms of polymerization processes. Ziegler discovered titanium complexes that can catalyze olefin polymerization reactions. And Nata developed a method for the preparation of stereoregular polymers from propylene. At the time, the Nobel Committee recognized that the full implications of their work were likely not yet realized. And indeed polymer chemistry was still a relatively young field at that date. Today the work of Ziegler and Nata underpins the technology. Used to generate many of the plastics you encounter. Why did Walter Norman Hayworth, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his investigations on carbohydrates and vitamin C, and Paul Carrer, Switzerland. For his investigations on carotenoids, flavins, and vitamins A and B2. Hayworth's work on carbohydrates expanded on that done by Fisher, making significant further progress into understanding the structures of various isomers of monosaccharides and disaccharides. Prior to this work, very little was known about vitamins, carotenoids, and flavins. And these men were the first to uncover the chemical composition of these molecules. In addition to his work with sugars, Hayworth also studied the composition of vitamin C. Carrer shared the prize for his work characterizing the chemical compositions of several carotenoids and flavins. As well as vitamin A and vitamin B2. Knowledge of the chemical compositions of these species provided some of the earliest insights into how they are formed and the roles they play as nutrients in the human body. Prior to their work, little was known regarding the chemistry or reactivity of these species. Because their composition was not known. What is a unit cell? The smallest group of atoms, in a crystal. Required to represent the symmetry and overall three-dimensional structure of the crystal. Why did Robert Burns Woodward, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his outstanding achievements in the art of organic synthesis. Woodward made tremendous research achievements in a broad range of areas in the field of organic synthesis. He established the structures of oreomycin and teramycin, which are antibiotics, and made possible new synthetic work in this area. He also synthesized quinine, which was considered a great challenge and was used to fight malaria. 
and later synthesized cholesterol and cortisone. The list of synthetic achievements goes on and on. And he truly ranks among the most successful synthetic chemists ever to have graced the field. In addition to these synthetic achievements, Woodward also established the structures of a large number of important compounds. Why did Harold Clayton Urey, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his discovery of heavy hydrogen. Urey received the Nobel Prize for isolation of deuterium. D2 by distilling a sample of liquid hydrogen multiple times. He is perhaps better known, amazing that he's better known for something other than what he received the Nobel Prize for, for his work on the Manhattan Project. Working at Columbia, Yuri and his team developed a method for enriching uranium by gaseous diffusion. Finally, after World War II ended, at the University of Chicago, Yuri and Stanley Miller. One of his graduate students, showed that a mixture of water, ammonia, methane, and hydrogen could produce amino acids by exposing the mixture to electricity. The experiment was designed to simulate conditions in the early days of our planet and clearly showed that organic molecules that form the basis of all life can be made from basic inorganic building blocks and a little spark. After Yuri's death, it was shown that over 20 different amino acids were present in the mixture. An even more remarkable result than Yuri and Miller claimed in their initial publication. What is titration? The process of measuring the concentration of an analyte by reacting. A second solution of known concentration to cause a reaction. Why did Adolf Friedrich Johann Boudinant, Germany, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on sex hormones, and Leopold Ruzica. Croatia, for his work on polymethylenes and higher terp NS. Boutinant was the first to isolate and crystallize a compound with the characteristics of a male sex hormone by extraction from male urine. Boutinant characterized the chemical formula of this complex, and called it endosterone. It was then discovered that this compound was actually slightly different from testosterone. But Butendent and Ruzica were both able to synthesize testosterone from endosterone. Ruzica synthesized the same compound, endosterone, that Butenant isolated from male urine. He too was able to convert it into the male sex hormone testosterone. Ruzica also worked to synthesize and characterize polyterpene complexes that are related to physically and biologically important compounds, including sex hormones. Ruzicka's work contributed greatly to the knowledge surrounding sex hormones. Which, of course, 
are very important physiologically. And his work thus laid the ground for future investigations into the roles of these complexes. Why did Richard Kuhn, Germany, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on carotenoids and vitamins. Originally the 1938 Nobel Prize nominations did not yield a suitable candidate. So the 1938 award was held until 1939, when it was awarded to Kuhn. Kuhn received the award for his work studying vitamins and carotenoids. He isolated and characterized the composition of numerous complexes. And also studied the optical properties of some of these species to differentiate those with different chemical structures. He also made significant advances in the understanding of the chemistry of vitamin B complexes. Including vitamin B2, lactoflavin or riboflavin, and vitamin B6. Why did Manfred Eigen, Federal Republic of Germany, Ronald George Rayford Norrish, United Kingdom, and George Porter, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their studies of extremely fast chemical reactions. Effected by disturbing the equilibrium by means of very short pulses of energy. Norrish and Porter were credited with the prize for their development of flash photolysis methods. Which applied short pulses of light to initiate photochemical reactions. Allowing them to study very fast chemical reactions that could not previously be observed. Eigen's work differed in that he used sound as his form of energy to probe the chemical reactions which is far less invasive of an approach in the sense that sound does not cause drastic changes in the behavior of the molecules being studied. Of the two methods, the flash photolysis method is much more akin to the modern spectroscopic approaches used today. While sound-based approaches did not gain as much traction, Why did Arthur Hardin, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? And Hans Karl August Simon von Euler Chelpin, Germany. For their investigations on the fermentation of sugar and fermentative enzymes. Hardin and Euler Schelpin were biochemists who independently investigated fermentation processes. Hardin discovered that phosphate was required for alcohol fermentation. Euler Schelpin studied the means by which living cells produced energy by degrading sugar molecules. And the machinery that cells used to perform these reactions. What is temperature? A physical property of matter that describes the average kinetic energy of molecules.
Why did Melvin Calvin, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his research on the carbon dioxide assimilation in plants. Calvin received the prize for his work on what is today known as the Calvin cycle. Which is the process by which green plants affect the fixation of carbon dioxide. Or in other words the incorporation of carbon dioxide molecules from the atmosphere into other molecules. Calvin identified that there is a close connection. Between the metabolism of carbohydrates and photosynthesis. This process is quite complex, involving 10 different intermediates and 11 different enzymes to catalyze each step of the reaction. Why did Willard Frank Libby, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. For his method to use carbon-14 for age determination in archaeology, geology, geophysics, and other branches of science. Libby developed a procedure that uses the relative abundance of carbon isotopes in a sample to determine how old it is. This procedure has been extremely useful to scientists from many fields and has played a major role in establishing the ordering of historical events, including the prehistory of humankind. Why did Irving Langmuir, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his discoveries and investigations in surface chemistry. As a graduate student, Langmuir studied light bulbs, and then went on to improve vacuum pump designs. These two interests merged, in some respects, and Langmuir was able to invent the incandescent light bulb. These led to his interest in surface chemistry, after observing that a tungsten filament, like those in a light bulb, could split H2 on its surface, forming a single atomic layer of hydrogen atoms. The work of direct relevance to his receiving the prize. However, was his study of thin films of oil and surfactants on the surface of water. Langmuir postulated that the molecules of surfactants would orient themselves into a layer that was a single molecule thick. He went on to develop the physics to describe such thin layers which would eventually be known as monolayers. What is a valence band? Highest energy range in which electrons are normally present at 0K. Why did Robert S. Mulliken, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his fundamental work concerning chemical bonds and the electronic structure of molecules by the molecular orbital method. 
Mulliken received the Nobel Prize in recognition of his work studying that nature of how electrons behaving in molecules. In particular for the molecular orbital approach that he developed. Molecular orbitals are formed by the overlap of the orbitals on individual atoms. And these can be used to rationalize whether bonds will exist between pairs of atoms. How strongly the pairs will be bonded, and what type of reactivity the molecule may be expected to undergo. Why did George de Hevesy, Hungary, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on the use of isotopes as tracers in the study of chemical processes. De Hevesy was a pioneer in using radioactive isotopes to carry out chemical studies. By using these isotopes as labels, he was able to track what was happening to the isotopes he introduced into a sample, providing unique new insights in a variety of areas. For example, by introducing radioactive sodium into a human body. He was able to track its spatial movement throughout the body, as well as its excretion from the body. He found that it after one day, blood corpus cles had lost slash replaced roughly half of their sodium content. Of course, other scientists later picked up on this method and applied it themselves. What is an ultraviolet? Electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths of 10 nanometers to 400 millimeters. Just shorter than the visible spectrum, but not as short as X-rays. What is a transition metal? Typically, this refers to any element in the D block, groups 3 through 12, of the periodic table. Why did Frederick Joliot, France, and Irene Curie, France, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? for their synthesis of new radioactive elements. Frederick was an assistant of Marie Curie, who ended up marrying Marie's daughter, Irena. The husband and wife team of Joliot and Curie collaborated on experiments. Investigated the effect of bombarding atoms with other particles. Specifically, they struck boron, magnesium, and aluminum atoms with alpha particles. He 2 plus ions, creating new short-lived radioactive particles. What is thermoplastic? A type of plastic that hardens when heated and then cooled. Why did Jaroslav Hayrovsky, Czechoslovakia, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry?
for his discovery and development of the polarographic methods of analysis. Hayrovsky was an innovator in the field of chemical analysis. Developing a polarographic method of analysis capable of analyzing the presence of virtually any species dissolved in water and could determine the relative percentages of the species present. He did this using a method that we won't get into here. But it relied on a fairly simple procedure involving the application of a current and measuring drops of mercury. Why did Lars Onsager United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. For the discovery of the reciprocal relations bearing his name, which are fundamental for the thermodynamics of irreversible processes. Onsager received the prize for his brilliant mathematical work. That allowed for a theoretical description of irreversible processes. He additionally made a large number of other contributions to physics and chemistry during his career. Including developments surrounding the conductivity. Of solutions and flow of electrolytes, and a solution to the Ising model. Why did Lars Onsager, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For the discovery of the reciprocal relations bearing his name. Which are fundamental for the thermodynamics of irreversible processes. Onsager received the prize for his brilliant mathematical work. That allowed for a theoretical description of irreversible processes. He additionally made a large number of other contributions to physics and chemistry during his career. Including developments surrounding the conductivity. Of solutions and flow of electrolytes and a solution to the Ising model. Why did Derek H. R. Barton, United Kingdom, and Ott Hassel, Norway, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their contributions to the development of the concept of conformation and its application in chemistry. Barton and Hassel earned the prize for their work surrounding the conformational analysis of molecules. While we draw a molecule on paper in a specific orientation and conformation. There are, in truth, typically many accessible conformations to a given molecule. This is especially true for floppy molecules. And these are where conformational analysis can be particularly insightful and important. Their work drew attention to the importance of rotations and other conformational changes in chemistry. Particularly with regard to organic molecules. They showed that reactivity can actually be significantly influenced by the conformation of a molecule. And that conformational changes may be necessary. To promote reactivity or allow for a reaction to take place. Why did Luis F. Why did Derek H. 
R. Barton, United Kingdom, and Odd Hassel, Norway, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. For their contributions to the development of the concept of conformation and its application in chemistry. Barton and Hassel earned the prize for their work surrounding the conformational analysis of molecules. While we draw a molecule on paper in a specific orientation and conformation. There are, in truth, typically many accessible conformations to a given molecule. This is especially true for floppy molecules. And these are where conformational analysis can be particularly insightful and important. Their work drew attention to the importance of rotations and other conformational changes in chemistry. Particularly with regard to organic molecules. They showed that reactivity can actually be significantly influenced by the conformation of a molecule. And that conformational changes may be necessary. To promote reactivity or allow for a reaction to take place. Why did Luis F. Lelwar, Argentina, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his discovery of sugar nucleotides and their role in the biosynthesis of carbohydrates. Lelwar discovered a substance essential for the transformation of one sugar into another. And this turned out to be a sugar bound to a nucleotide molecule, a sugar nucleotide. He soon realized that he had opened the door to a vast number of unsolved problems surrounding carbohydrate synthesis. And proceeded to pursue them with fervor. During his career, Lelwar revolutionized the understanding of the synthesis and biosynthesis of sugars. Lelwar, Argentina, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his discovery of sugar nucleotides and their role in the biosynthesis of carbohydrates. Lelwar discovered a substance essential for the transformation of one sugar into another. And this turned out to be a sugar bound to a nucleotide molecule, a sugar nucleotide. He soon realized that he had opened the door to a vast number of unsolved problems surrounding carbohydrate synthesis. And proceeded to pursue them with fervor. During his career, Lelwar revolutionized the understanding of the synthesis and biosynthesis of sugars. Why did Gerhard Herzberg, Canada, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his contributions to the knowledge of electronic structure and geometry of molecules, particularly free radicals. Herzberg was a famous physicist and astrophysicist. And he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his great achievements in molecular spectroscopy. A particular demonstration of his skill in spectroscopy was his investigations into the role of free radicals in chemical reactions. Free radicals had long been a difficult target to study. 
owing to their relatively short lifetimes, on the order of millionths of a second. Herzberg's talent with spectroscopy allowed him to address this. And other similarly challenging, and interesting, problems. Why did Christian B. Why did Gerhard Herzberg, Canada, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his contributions to the knowledge of electronic structure and geometry of molecules, particularly free radicals. Herzberg was a famous physicist and astrophysicist. And he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his great achievements in molecular spectroscopy. A particular demonstration of his skill in spectroscopy was his investigations into the role of free radicals in chemical reactions. Free radicals had long been a difficult target to study. Owing to their relatively short lifetimes, on the order of millionths of a second. Herzberg's talent with spectroscopy allowed him to address this. And other similarly challenging, and interesting, problems. Why did Christian B. Anfinsen, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on ribonuclease, especially concerning the connection between the amino acid sequence and the biologically active conformation, and Stanford Moore and William H. Stein, both United States, for their contribution to the understanding of the connection between chemical structure and catalytic activity of the active center of the ribonuclease molecule. Together, these three scientists uncovered the structure of the ribonuclease enzyme. And they were able to gain insight into how its structure related to its reactivity. In particular, Moore and Stein were able to correlate the structure of the enzyme's active site to its reactivity. Not only was ribonuclease an important enzyme to study, but their approach paved the way for similar studies to come. Anfinsen, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on ribonuclease, especially concerning the connection between the amino acid sequence and the biologically active conformation, and Stanford Moore and William H. Stein, both United States, for their contribution to the understanding of the connection between chemical structure and catalytic activity of the active center of the ribonuclease molecule. Together, these three scientists uncovered the structure of the ribonuclease enzyme. And they were able to gain insight into how its structure related to its reactivity. In particular, Moore and Stein were able to correlate the structure of the enzyme's active site to its reactivity. Not only was ribonuclease an important enzyme to study, but their approach paved the way for similar studies to come.
Why did Ernst Otto Fischer, Federal Republic of Germany, and Geoffrey Wilkinson, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their pioneering work, performed independently. On the chemistry of the organometallic, so called sandwich compounds. Fisher and Wilkinson received the prize for their role in elucidating the basic properties surrounding bonding and reactivity in organometallic complexes, with a particular focus on their work with organometallic sandwich compounds. Which involve a metal center sandwiched between two ligands. This prize was somewhat special in that it was openly recognized that the practical implications of their work were not readily obvious, but that the knowledge surrounding organometallic chemistry gained from their work would be invaluable to chemists in the future. Why did Paul J. Why did Ernst Otto Fischer, Federal Republic of Germany, and Geoffrey Wilkinson, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their pioneering work, performed independently. On the chemistry of the organometallic, so-called sandwich compounds. Fisher and Wilkinson received the prize for their role in elucidating the basic properties surrounding bonding and reactivity in organometallic complexes, with a particular focus on their work with organometallic sandwich compounds, which involve a metal center sandwiched between two ligands. This prize was somewhat special in that it was openly recognized that the practical implications of their work were not readily obvious, but that the knowledge surrounding organometallic chemistry gained from their work would be invaluable to chemists in the future. Why did Paul J. Flory, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his fundamental work, both theoretical and experimental, in the physical chemistry of macromolecules. Flory contributed greatly to polymer science by developing metrics for characterizing polymers and for comparing different polymers against one another. This was a task that had often proved difficult due to the different compositions and conformational arrangements found in different polymers. He made great strides toward putting polymer science on a firm theoretical footing, which was lacking when he entered the field. Flory, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his fundamental work, both theoretical and experimental, in the physical chemistry of macromolecules. Flory contributed greatly to polymer science by developing metrics for characterizing polymers and for comparing different polymers against one another. This was a task that had often proved difficult due to the different 
compositions and conformational arrangements found in different polymers. He made great strides toward putting polymer science on a firm theoretical footing, which was lacking when he entered the field. Why did John Warcup Cornforth, Australia, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on the stereochemistry of enzyme-catalyzed reactions, and Vladimir Prelog, Yugoslavia-Switzerland. For his research into the stereochemistry of organic molecules and reactions. Cornforth explored the stereochemistry of enzyme-catalyzed reactions by using isotopically labeled hydrogen atoms to study the geometry of their arrangement in the enzyme's active site. Prelog studied how the stereochemistry of organic molecules affected their reactivity, leading to important discoveries. He also explored the stereochemistry of enzyme-catalyzed reactions. Observing how they reacted with simple organic molecules why did William N. Why did John Warcup Cornforth, Australia, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on the stereochemistry of enzyme-catalyzed reactions, and Vladimir Prelog, Yugoslavia-Switzerland. For his research into the stereochemistry of organic molecules and reactions. Cornforth explored the stereochemistry of enzyme-catalyzed reactions by using isotopically. Labeled hydrogen atoms to study the geometry of their arrangement in the enzyme's active site. Prelog studied how the stereochemistry of organic molecules affected their reactivity, leading to important discoveries. He also explored the stereochemistry of enzyme catalyzed reactions. Observing how they reacted with simple organic molecules why did William N. Lipscomb, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his studies on the structure of Baran's illuminating problems of chemical bonding. Boron hydride, borane, complexes participate in many interesting examples of chemical bonding. And this is due to the fact that boron possesses one less electron than carbon to donate to chemical bonds. But still often forms four coordinate complexes. Lipscomb won the prize for his pioneering explorations of the chemistry and bonding in borane complexes using X-ray diffraction and quantum chemical calculations. He reached a level of understanding of borane complexes at which he could predict the properties and reactivity of borane complexes reasonably well and his work led to deeper insight into the nature of the chemical bond. Lipscomb, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry?
for his studies on the structure of Baran's illuminating problems of chemical bonding. Boron hydride, borane, complexes participate in many interesting examples of chemical bonding. And this is due to the fact that boron possesses one less electron than carbon to donate to chemical bonds. But still often forms four coordinate complexes. Lipscomb won the prize for his pioneering explorations of the chemistry and bonding. In borane complexes using X-ray diffraction and quantum chemical calculations. He reached a level of understanding of borane complexes at which he could predict the properties and reactivity of borane complexes reasonably well. And his work led to deeper insight into the nature of the chemical bond. Why did Ilya Prigozhin, Belgium, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. For his contributions to non-equilibrium thermodynamics, particularly the theory of dissipative structures. Non-equilibrium thermodynamics is traditionally considered a particularly hard topic to address. Because the assumptions one can usually make regarding the behavior of molecules are thrown out the window. Prigozhin's work expanded on existing thermodynamic theories to address systems far from equilibrium. Such as when a liquid is heated rapidly from below. Prigozhin demonstrate that structures called dissipative structures could exist under conditions far from equilibrium and that these structures could only exist in conjunction with the surrounding environment why did peter d why did ilya prigozhin belgium win the nobel prize for chemistry For his contributions to non-equilibrium thermodynamics, particularly the theory of dissipative structures. Non-equilibrium thermodynamics is traditionally considered a particularly hard topic to address. Because the assumptions one can usually make regarding the behavior of molecules are thrown out the window. Prigozhin's work expanded on existing thermodynamic theories to address systems far from equilibrium. Such as when a liquid is heated rapidly from below. Prigozhin demonstrate that structures called dissipative structures could exist under conditions far from equilibrium. And that these structures could only exist in conjunction with the surrounding environment. Why did Peter D. Mitchell, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? for his contribution to the understanding of biological energy. Transfer through the formulation of the chemiosmotic theory. Mitchell received the prize for developing a theory of how electron transfer was coupled to ATP synthesis during oxidative phosphorylation and photophosphorylation. He proposed that a gradient of proton concentration, and thus also charge, was built up across the mitochondrial membrane, and that the reverse flow of protons 
down the concentration gradient provided the driving force for ATP synthesis. This is what is known as the chemiosmotic theory. Why did Herbert C. Mitchell, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his contribution to the understanding of biological energy. Transfer through the formulation of the chemiosmotic theory. Mitchell received the prize for developing a theory of how electron transfer was coupled to ATP synthesis during oxidative phosphorylation and photophosphorylation. He proposed that a gradient of proton concentration, and thus also charge, was built up across the mitochondrial membrane, and that the reverse flow of protons down the concentration gradient provided the driving force for ATP synthesis. This is what is known as the chemiosmotic theory. Why did Herbert C. Brown, United States, and George Wittig, Federal Republic of Germany, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their development of the use of boron and phosphorus containing compounds, respectively, into important reagents in organic synthesis. Brown received the prize for his work with boron reagents in organic synthesis, which also led to the development of organoborans as a class of molecules. Wittig worked with phosphorus, developing a reaction through which a carbonyl could be converted to an olefin. This reaction is today known as the Wittig reaction. The work of both Wittig and Brown resulted in the development of useful reagents that find wide application in organic synthesis even today. Brown, United States, and George Wittig, Federal Republic of Germany, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their development of the use of boron and phosphorus containing compounds, respectively, into important reagents in organic synthesis. Brown received the prize for his work with boron reagents in organic synthesis, which also led to the development of organoborans as a class of molecules. Wittig worked with phosphorus, developing a reaction through which a carbonyl could be converted to an olefin. This reaction is today known as the Wittig reaction. The work of both Wittig and Brown resulted in the development of useful reagents that find wide application in organic synthesis even today. Lelwar, Argentina, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his discovery of sugar nucleotides and their role in the biosynthesis of carbohydrates. Lelwar discovered a substance essential for the transformation of one sugar into another. And this turned out to be a sugar bound to a nucleotide molecule, 
a sugar nucleotide. He soon realized that he had opened the door to a vast number of unsolved problems surrounding carbohydrate synthesis and proceeded to pursue them with fervor. During his career, Lelwar revolutionized the understanding of the synthesis and biosynthesis of sugars. Anfinson, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on ribonuclease, especially concerning the connection between the amino acid sequence and the biologically active conformation, and Stanford Moore and William H. Stein, both United States, for their contribution to the understanding of the connection between chemical structure and catalytic activity of the active center of the ribonuclease molecule. Together, these three scientists uncovered the structure of the ribonuclease enzyme. And they were able to gain insight into how its structure related to its reactivity. In particular, Moore and Stein were able to correlate the structure of the enzyme's active site to its reactivity. Not only was ribonuclease an important enzyme to study, but their approach paved the way for similar studies to come. What is a wave number? Inverse of wavelength, typically reported in units of M1 or CM1. Why did William Francis Gioke, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. For his contributions in the field of chemical thermodynamics. Particularly concerning the behavior of substances at extremely low temperatures. Geoke's work did much to prove the third law of thermodynamics, originally proposed by Nernst and helped make it possible to calculate the free energies of formation of molecules. Much of this was made possible by experiments performed at extremely low temperatures. And Geoke can be credited for developing the methods necessary to perform these experiments at temperatures close to absolute zero. Geoke's work explored the entropy, or disorder, associated with various forms of various substances. And he did much of the pioneering work in studying molecules at low temperatures. Why did Vincent Duvenaud, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his work on biochemically important sulfur compounds. Especially for the first synthesis of a polypeptide hormone. Duvenaud was known for bridging the fields of organic and biochemistry by synthesizing biochemically relevant compounds. He synthesized the first polypeptide hormone and developed knowledge of the chemistry surrounding peptides, especially those containing sulfur. 
In early experiments on the posterior lobe of the brain, Duvenaud had noted the high percentage of sulfur present. Prompting his career-long investigation into the correlation of sulfur with biological activity. What is volume? The quantity of space that a substance occupies. Why did Linus Carl Pauling, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his research into the nature of the chemical bond and its application to the elucidation of the structure of complex substances. Pauling made significant progress toward understanding the nature of chemical bonds, which are, obviously, relevant to virtually all chemical processes. He proposed the property of electronegativity as a means for characterizing chemical bonds. And he developed a scale for electronegativity values. Pauling's work with X-rays also uncovered the structures of numerous molecules and paved the road for X-ray diffraction as a characterization method for even more complex molecules. In 1963, Pauling also was awarded a Nobel Peace Prize. Throughout his career, Pauling was always known for working and living, at the forefront of scientific discovery. What is voltage? The difference in electrical potential between two locations. Why did Hermann Staudinger, Federal Republic of Germany, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his discoveries in the field of macromolecular chemistry. Staudinger was among the first to propose that macromolecules, polymers, are of significant importance and play an important role in chemistry. These views were not initially well received by many members of his field. But he was able to demonstrate experimental proof of the existence of macromolecules. Today the importance of macromolecules is widely recognized in polymer chemistry, biochemistry, and numerous other fields. Mitchell, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his contribution to the understanding of biological energy. Transfer through the formulation of the chemiosmotic theory. Mitchell received the prize for developing a theory of how electron transfer was coupled to ADP synthesis during oxidative phosphorylation and photophosphorylation. He proposed that a gradient of proton concentration, and thus also charge, was built up across the mitochondrial membrane, and that the reverse flow of protons 
down the concentration gradient provided the driving force for ATP synthesis. This is what is known as the chemiosmotic theory. Why did Herbert C. Why did Lars Onsager, United States, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For the discovery of the reciprocal relations bearing his name, which are fundamental for the thermodynamics of irreversible processes. Onsager received the prize for his brilliant mathematical work that allowed for a theoretical description of irreversible processes. He additionally made a large number of other contributions to physics and chemistry during his career, including developments surrounding the conductivity of solutions and flow of electrolytes, and a solution to the Ising model. Why did Sir Robert Robinson, United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For his investigations on plant products of biological importance, especially the alkaloids. Robinson made significant advances in medicinal chemistry. Both in synthesis and in gaining a better understanding of the mechanisms by which drugs work. His Nobel Prize was awarded for his work with alkaloids in particular including quinine, cocaine, and atropine, Robinson studied and helped to understand how these types of molecules have their effects on the human body and mind. Why did Archer John Porter Martin and Richard Lawrence Millington sing? Both United Kingdom, win the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? For their invention of partition chromatography. Martin and Singh won the prize for their development of the basic principles of chromatography. Or the separation of chemical substances based on differences in their chemical properties, often their polarity. In their separation method, a drop of a mixture of compounds is placed on a strip of paper. And a solvent, perhaps water or an alcohol, or a mixture, is drawn up the strip of water, resulting in a separation of the compounds in the mixture. This separation occurs because each component in the mixture interacts differently with the solvent. This method has been expanded upon by a large number of later researchers. And chromatographic methods play a very important role in laboratory chemistry to this day. 